I got a question for you. Remember how we used to play this? We used to play hypothetical questions back in the day. I have, I have a question for you. What if you could pick up everything that consumed your time? Your TV, your phone, the car that's in the garage that doesn't work that you spend a lot of time trying to fix, or all the lawn equipment that you had tried to use to have the beautifully manicured lawn, your makeup, your hair products, all the stuff, right? All these things that consume your time. Now you got them in your hands, and then all of a sudden, boom, just like that, you're in the middle of the desert, you have no pockets, you're just in the middle of the desert, it's hot, it's blazing hot, there's no water, the closest water is like 30 miles away, it's not a town, it's just gonna be a little bitty spring. What do you do? Do you begin to walk through the middle of the desert with all that stuff in your hands? Are you gonna carry your TV 30 miles and it's, I mean, it's blazing hot, sand's getting it all up in your mouth, are you gonna keep carrying? Or are you going to let some of that stuff go? Are you going to recognize some of this stuff is pointless and meaningless? What's, what's important to me is getting to the water so that I may live. I want you to listen to these words from Psalm chapter 63. This says here in verse 1, O God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. Are we pursuing God the same way? It talks about our flesh and our soul. Just It's just yearning. It's just desiring to be with God so much. Like if we were in a desert land and we just wanted water, that's how much God wants us to come to him. Or everything else is secondary. But our primary is survival. Our primary is getting to the water. And God wants us to make him our primary. And I want to ask you, what are some of the things that you and I need to let go of? that is consuming our time, that's making it so that we're not seeking God in this same type of way. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for your blessings and gifts. And Lord, we're so sorry for the time where we've allowed the stuff around us to consume our time. And we've placed you not on our priority. When we don't seek after you, we're sorry. But Lord, help us to switch that around. Help us to pursue you. Help us to chase after you. Help us to see you as water in the middle of a barren land. Lord, you satisfy the soul. So help us, Lord, to remember that all the days of our life. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, as you go forward today, may you seek the Lord. Go forward this weekend, seek in the Lord. Pursue him, pursue him, pursue him. He's in love with you. Spend some time with him. God bless.